dangerous as of now, even using his blinker, so maybe he's thinking the heat is off of him and he got away. It's a, good, it's, a, it's a good question to wonder if he can hear the air unit. He um, may not. He may not know that he's being followed. And there, there are always helicopters overhead. Though, well, now he's on the, he's on the shoulder, so he's pretty much aware. Uh, he's he's aggressively trying to get out. Is he exiting? Yeah. Yes. So he exit. exited onto Woodman. Ooh, Woodman. Ooh, that was tight. See. Yeah, that was tight. He's had a few close calls like Flying this. Flying through a red light. Okay, so he's going to go under the freeway. Uh, that this would be northbound on Woodman Avenue. Let's see if we Hard can to see him behind him. the buildings. Yeah. But probably coming up on Riverside. Yeah, he'll be uh, hitting Riverside first, and there's the mall on the left-hand side. That would be Fashion Square Mall. If he takes his left, that's Riverside. So Fashion there Square goes. Mall is on your left-hand side. If he wants to duck into a parking garage, yep. there's a couple of options there, but it doesn't seem to be on his no. mind right now. He's going to be fly well, by. Now he's. Oh. Over to the left. No, here he is. He may be doing this. Yeah, he might be dumping into a parking yep, garage. There There's, that's a Macy's right there. Yep. Um, and then you have part one parking option. You saw him just go by. But if he takes a right here, mm. which he he's is, going into the parking structure. he's going to be getting close to the parking structure, or he could fly through the mall and get back out the other side. But there is a parking structure that he's going to be getting close to right by that. Uh, there it is. There's a parking structure. So let's see if he decides to duck in there or he's going to fly through the mall, which is like extremely dangerous. It looks like he went through. There he is. There is. So he's so far. Oh. Just no. passing that vehicle there. Oh, he's going now in. Now he's going in. Okay, so that is a parking structure. There's a valet set up. There will be witnesses there on where he goes, but it is a multi level parking structure, maybe three or four levels. Or he can go all the way up and, and, and wind his way up to the very top of the roof where you see it there. But more than likely, he's going to ditch the car. Yeah, this, that, would, this would be his opportunity to ditch the car. Unless so the, I guess the question will be, what's the play here by the LAPD? Do they then move in or are they going to let him go? Uh, because there's probably nobody within range to get here quickly and get to this guy. Let's see where that car is right there. Is that, no? The other way? Oh. Is that him? No, that's a, no. that's a Volvo. No, that's a Volvo. It is black, I believe. So the speculation is that he may be ditching the car and either work his way into the mall, and then try to find an exit on the other side. You would think the air unit is in communication with the LAPD, you know, officers on the ground. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. So, uh, but they... getting getting the units there to uh, surround this area, and whether they even choose to do so would be interesting. Now, wait, wait, wait. Right under that tree, does that look like a blue car? A blue? No, that's not it. Okay. There's another SUV about right to pull behind. out right there. I can't tell. Can't imagine why he would pull out of here. It's a BMW, I think. Okay. So, okay. Um, as we have seen before, there are a few times when people have been able to escape law enforcement, and a couple of them have been parking garages mm -hmm. in a busy mall. Yeah. And so this, this might be his, you know, in a criminal, criminal's aspect, uh, his best play was meld in, especially when LAPD is not behind him, knowing that they're not behind him. If it's only a helicopter overhead, so there's the helicopter circling it right now. And uh, still no sign of uh, ground units, which I would expect to see at this point. Well, it makes you wonder, imagine, it, it, it's a stolen vehicle, as opposed to, let's say, we've seen in the past, attempted murder, uh, it's a Volvo, uh, or a murder suspect, I think they would be on him and stay on him, uh, mm -hmm. you know, a, mo a lot more vigilantly. But in this case, it's a stolen vehicle where the community was uh, in danger with his high rate of speed. And you have to make that debate on whether or not it is appropriate to keep up this pursuit. Maybe there's another way to find this suspect, or it's better just to retrieve the car and, and, and get this thing over with. The vehicle may also have a low jack or tracking system on it yeah. that they could catch up with. Yeah. you know the vehicle at a later time right um but i agree with you david i think this it's likely that this suspect uh ditched the car and he might have gotten away okay so i think what we're going to do is we're going to leave this here if we get some new information or need to get back on it we certainly will all right and moving on to other news